this. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, you punk ass bitch. All right, Paul, you ready? Yeah, man. Finn, you ready? Are we ready? Yeah! Yeah! I mean, to be honest, it's difficult doing this because I don't know who the fuck this lanky bitch is. <laughs> I had to Google Finn Taylor and Google said, who the fuck is Finn Taylor? <laughs> then I phoned his agent and his agent said, who the fuck is Finn Taylor? <laughs> you get stabbed in this country, they won't find the killers. But if you drive down a bus lane, <laughs> they'll take a picture of you in the car and send you to your house within 48 hours. So if you get stabbed, make sure you get stabbed in a bus lane. Paul was lucky enough to be in Rome. You were filming. And we spoke on the phone a few times because we're, we're, you know, believe it or not, we're actually good mates. And... <laughs> and I would say, hey, man, what's, what's Rome like? And you, you were not impressed. Rome was a shit <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, everyone's got a beard now, man. How long did that beard take you to grow there, George? 15 years. I grew this on the walk up. Are you, are you only on the big circuit now? Because, uh, you know, so, some of the guys now, they're sort of, they're, you're only doing the arenas. No, I do all gigs. Yeah. You know, I don't discriminate when it comes to gig sizes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I heard you were pissing blood and went to the doctor and the doctor stuck a camera down the end of your urethra. Does it bother you that the inside of your cock has been on TV more than your fucking face? <laughs> we're Indians, we're hairy bastards. I was talking to my Indian friend about earlier on how quickly it takes us to grow beards and she agreed. So. <laughs> My dad's your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> you're my cousin. I'm your cousin. Yeah. Very possible. So you, what is this? Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Not even finished the first half yet. <laughs> this Bengali thinks he's my cousin. <laughs> We're not related, man. We're not related. So I'm sorry to spray this to you. I don't know you. I've never met you. My dad's not your cousin. You're on call, you're on. 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 you Look alike today. <laughs> Is the wall all right? <laughs> what are you smacking the wall for? You trying to get a contract here or something? Uh, yeah, the wall is a little bit fucked. <laughs> Indians try and get work everywhere, isn't it? But you, you lot are used to this because we. <laughs> you lot. You know. <laughs> Why'd you make this tense and about race? Well, we're having a lovely chat now. I know you made it. You made well, it all because good. you're the same colour as the robe. <laughs> I'm not looking at me. I'm orange. And what's your name, man? Jibril. Jibri. Jibri. Jibril. Jibril. Yeah. What kind of a name is Jibril? <laughs> Jibril. Is that a real name? So what I like about London, so the weather's changing, you see people walking about, especially when the weather gets good, hot or too cold, cockneys, it is biking dive. I'm absolutely sweltering, mate. I'm sweating like a right slag. <laughs> it's 12 degrees, Dave. What's <laughs> been happening this week? Google Earth has got a picture, right, of a housing estate in the West Country that some people say looks quite racist. 
Is there anything racist about this housing estate to you? I tried to get directions to this housing estate and I was told to go to Devon, take a right, take a right again, <laughs> take the next right, and it's just down there on the far right. Hey, I'm Russell. Nice Let's to meet you. Arthur. This is Paul. He doesn't <laughs> shake. <laughs> um, we did um, cryotherapy and I screamed like a sheep that was about to be murdered. Like a pussy clap. Like all that. English people get a lot more independence. Indian people don't get the independence. English, like, when you want to move out, you're never allowed to move out of a family home. Dad, I, I want to move out. I want to get my own. You want to do what, bastard? <laughs> I want to get out and get... You never leave this house, bastard! <laughs> you don't leave... I'm dead, you're dead, everybody's dead! <laughs> and you still don't leave, bastard! <laughs> English people want more independence. When are you going to move out, son? <laughs> you're five now! And uh, what are you expecting from the awards tonight? Well, you know, I sold this place out on the solo show. You know I sold this place out, don't you? No. <laughs> you don't know. This is the thing about the Asian media. They don't know much about media, which I, I realise that. You, don't, you probably don't even know who I am. Do you know who I am? Of course I know who you are. Yeah, so then you should know I sold this place out. I sold this place out on my last tour, 10,000 people, which is now available on Amazon Prime around the world. You know that, don't you? Yes, no, I don't. <laughs> you know what tour it is, don't you? Oh my God, um, I'm supposed to be ask, asking the questions. I thought you were the interviewer. I yes, exactly. I'm, you yeah, but I'm supposed to be interviewing you. Yeah, so interview me, but you need to know your facts before you interview me. Innit? In, in England, right, I get heckled by Indian people as well. They take it a lot more personally, you know. They're like, you shut up, bastard. <laughs> Don't do it, bastard. Shut up. I'm telling you 12 times, 16 times, bastard. You shut off. That's the last time I did a show in a mosque. That was a tough crowd, I tell you. you you're going mainstream. Yeah, I want to become... I want to become, like, you know, you white guys. <laughs> I don't like this controversial label anymore, so I call it family-friendly comedians, yeah. so I can appeal. A lot of my family do bring their children to my shows. Yeah. So I thought, why not call it family-friendly comedian? No children allowed. <laughs> so there's no children allowed? No. Nice. i got to respect that. Look what happened to Michael Jackson. That is true. <laughs> well, Winston Churchill fucked up India, fucked up Pakistan, well, he created Pakistan, but just arguably <laughs> fucked up India altogether, hated Indian people and Bengalis as well. <laughs> Proper racist, man. But he beat the Nazis. So he's got a balance there, isn't it? <laughs> Me and Paul are going to hit the ice bath. And we're going to be in that together. Well, yeah. I thought this business would open me up to taking baths with women and shit. But you have to start with them. With yeah, men. exactly. Yeah. This That's is the age we live in. We can't say we like women anymore, so we have... We this can say that. It's <laughs> completely correct to say you like women. You, you like women? Say, of course you could say that. It's <laughs> absolutely fine. When you ask someone, how are you, no one wants a real answer. All you want to hear is, I'm fine, how are you? No one wants to hear, oh, well, I've had a really... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> and let's move on to the next question so I can get on with my shit that I've got to do today. I sold this room out. 10,000 people came here to see me. And it's good to see 800 people here tonight. Because Brit Asia TV know what they're doing, innit? You get more viewers on Red Tube than this Ganja station. Um, allegedly, three women were held for 30 years captive in a house in Lambeth. I mean, the worst thing about being a slave in Lambeth is when you're finally released... <laughs> ..you realise you're in Lambeth. My weird obsession is that people are talking about chips going into Covid vaccines. Like we need to follow what some of these dumb bastards are doing in life. No one gives a shit. How do you handle the request to speak on behalf of the Muslims? Well, I think it's quite racist because uh, just because of this beard and I have that look that I've come straight out of Syria doesn't mean a... <laughs> doesn't mean you know we, we can't speak on behalf of everyone. Well, can so it? Do you, I assume you turn them down then when you get asked to. Depends on the money, mate. <laughs> That's the thing about TV. Like TV works on tokenisms and stereotypes. Let's say, if, for instance, we did a show about paintballing, Dave. You, you went paintball. You might go paintballing, Dave. Shoot each other with a paintball gun, mate. Have a right bubble, mate. <laughs> I got paintball with these guys. Suspected terrorist training camp. 